Hey guys, welcome back to Dish Nation. Andrew Freund here in Paris, getting ready to talk to the cast of Mission Impossible Fallout. Okay, our, I guess my first question for you, Henry, is is are our audiences jaded these days? Because these movies, they up the ante so much that I feel like you have to risk your life in order to entertain people now. It was a genuine possibility that I was going to end up as a smear on the side of a New Zealand mountain with Tom Cruise's burning helicopter on top of me. But that's the great thing about these movies, because they are as real as movies get. How do you act, but also not hurt yourself? Uh, you try not to hurt yourself, but you do get hurt doing this stuff. There, there's always injuries when we say, like, I wasn't, I didn't hurt myself. Like, yeah, I was hurt regularly, but not to the point that I was incapable of doing anything. But when you're actually there and you see everything go on, what is going through your head? Like I said, I can't imagine what went into pulling that off. What happened when you heard about Tom's accident? I mean, it says a lot about these films that I was relieved that it was only a shattered ankle. And, and I was worried that, you know, what would happen to the movie. I wasn't worried about Tom. I, I sent Tom a package. <laughs> I sent him all of my films on DVD in a big envelope saying, now that you have to lie down for a while, watch these. And uh, I, I don't think he did. Is there a stunt you'd want to try and what would that be? I'd quite like to fall out that plane because I, I did a skydive when I was 19, and um, have you ever done one? Mm -mm. So good. Would you make a good spy? Right now, whilst breastfeeding, no, because I just mix everything up. I have barely any idea what I'm talking about. My brain is mush. I want to know if Angela Bass would make a good spy. Uh, first off, I don't think I'd make a good spy because I can't hold water. You know, I just you know, over explain and talk it out and, you know, and as it come up, I want to express it. So I might tell too much. Um, what, what kind of spy would you be? Do you think you could pull it off? No, it'd be terrible. I can't, I find it really hard to lie. And, you know, I always show how I feel. So I'd just be like, let's say you were a spy. Who would you want to kind of glimpse into their life if you could? Probably Tom, because Tom, I think, has a very intense life and I work with him so I see one side and I always wonder when do you rest is he human I'll tell you I won't tell you because I'm a spy <laughs> apparently I'll do a really bad spy <laughs> how do you even how do you guys up the ante like what's left how what's left is there to do each film is called Mission Impossible and so by very definition that film has to feel like that mission is impossible the next one by sheer logic, has to be impossible again, and so is bigger. And that's gone on for six movies now. What happens in seven, I don't bloody know. Do you go to space? Like, like how, how do you top? I could play Tom Cruise in space. Hmm. Dish Nation.